Hello everyone, this is Noah and you're welcome to this section of the video. So uh, the, in the previous section we just uh, were seeing um, what? A 3D animation of the of the hammer mill. But in this section we are going to be talking about uh, more details about this machine. So this project was requested by uh, one of the subscribers and uh, the subscriber wanted to uh, crush something like coconut uh, into powder for their briquette making business. So uh, I came up with this 3D model and I have covered this 3D model actually before but this is another type of uh, armor mill. So this is just a simple type, uh, simple in a way that uh, we don't have uh, the dust collector, we just have, uh, if you open this up, you can actually see that we just have the blades and the sieve at the bottom, okay? This is the sieve, these are the blades. So, uh, so this hammer mill can be used for crushing uh, charcoal to get powder for making briquettes. And uh, it can also be used for other purposes like on a uh, farm work. Can be used for uh, crushing maize into uh, animal feed. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And uh, actually, if the operation of this machine is that, uh, in case you have your product, so your uh, maize, or you have the let me say the coconut char after carbonization, you put it here. Then you can open this up, then you put it in the hammer mill. The hammer mill will then crush it into a fine powder that will be uh, exited from here. Okay, so, so this project actually can use both electricity and uh, diesel. As shown in the previous animation, we have uh, diesel, but here we have a motor. So uh, this is the project. It's a very simple project, it's a very small machine. And uh, I think this machine will be available for download. I'm just still working on the site. I will provide the links after after the site is uh, I finished setting up the site for downloading these models. So you see, the height is about 1.2 meters uh, from the ground to the upper point. Then we see that the overall length uh, it's about Let's say it's about 1.8 okay meters, and um, I think other features I have added here. We are using, uh, as you see, we are we are we are using pillow block bearings as well, and we are also uh, having a double groove pulley. So in here we have uh, these blades here as well. We have the blades, and uh, we have uh, these pins and. Actually, the wire mesh here is, uh, you can have a look at this wire mesh for the sieve. Oh, sorry, the sieve, the sieve is, and this is how it looks like. And um, these holes are actually just drilled in the, in the plate, then the plate is bent. And if we adjust these holes, uh, we can get a finer powder. So uh, that's the sieve, and it's just for using. It's, it's used for uh, uh, controlling what particle size we are, we are getting from the machine, okay? So the larger these holes are, the larger the particles you get from the machine. And uh, I think that's that for the sieve. Uh, we have the hammer mill. So the hammer mill works in a way that, in uh, let's say the, the hammer mill is running for now. So what we do is that when the... Uh, let me say the particles or the farm or the maize comes in, or the char, it comes in and this blade will hit it. So the blade, as they rotate, they hit it, and as they hit it, it will end up um, uh, breaking down into smaller fine particles. So after breaking down into fine particles, the fine particles will be exited from here. And um, yeah, I think there is nothing much to talk about the hammer mill. Yeah? And this is how it looks like. For those who want more details, I'll be providing the 3D models. And uh, please be patient. I'll, I'm just also waiting for some verification so that uh, the site is ready for download. Okay, um, I think this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope to see you in the next one.